number one featherweight contender is no stranger to this setting. Tonight, though, he believes he's just a much better version of himself and finally has the goods and the chops to actually be a world champion. Sometimes you get there, John, you just not ready. It's not easy to become the best in the world. The first time this man got here, he was a great fighter. He was good, but he just wasn't ready to be the best in the world. He said that the moment he got back home, he went to work to improve. He feels like all the improvements were made, and tonight he is the best featherweight the UFC has. And it does seem as though we have taken two-way action on this fight, but a lot of people believe in the challenger, and I'm not just talking about his coaches. We'll see how it goes tonight. So many great undisputed featherweight champions in UFC history. Max Holloway, Jose Aldo, Alexander Volkanovsky. And this is the latest entrant, another guy who people believe could be just as special. John, think about the names that you just listed. These are three of the greatest names the sport has ever seen. And this man is starting to build a resume where he stands alongside some of the greatest featherweight champions of all time. He is just a beast of an athlete. He is a beast of a champion. And he believes that tonight, it will just be another notch on the belt as he keeps his championship belt. We asked him in the fighter meeting, is this title challenger the toughest fight of your career? He smiled and said, no comment. All right, Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. Our right, round is underway, and you never know exactly what you're going to get from Alex Bruce Leroy Caceres. He has represented the 305 exceedingly well in the UFC. Not all that far removed from a five-fight winning streak that vaulted him into UFC featherweight contention. He was pretty simplistic in our fighter meeting. He said he's going to allow this matchup to come to him and let his skills take over when the opportunities present themselves. Push kick there to the body. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Moving to his left now. Man, his side kick is just killer. You saw it right there. He has a really good side kick. He's so fast at doing that technique, and there is no tell when he attempts that search strike. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank. It's not good for the old noggin. You can't ah. take so many upside the head. Somebody's going to sleep. Nice strike. Oh, and he lands another counter strike here. He has landed several in this round. And if you are a counter striking stylist, you can do worse than watching this guy compete. Beautiful job defensively, head movement, foot movement, and ultimately finding a home for these counter shots repeatedly in this round. Back kick there. Oh, single collar tie here. Now they separate. He lands a big knee to the body. New head kick lands. Another one lands right on the side of his head. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're going to continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Both fighters start to open up a little bit. Inside leg kick. Yeah, he wants to draw his opponent in here, looking to set up another counter, but he wants his opponent to strike first. Nice punch here. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. 
he should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now, he seems lost to it. Two minutes here to go in round one. Caceres gets caught by that straight hand. Work, guys, come on. Oh, nice counter. You can't place it or time it any better. Well placed kick there by Caceres. Nice left hand. Oh, another bruising shot right to the body. I wouldn't think you want to take too many more of those. No, John, you gotta def you gotta defend. You got to address a tactic that has worked this many times this early in a fight. You cannot allow it to continue to build because once that momentum gets going. You will have no way of stopping. And I don't have a lot of muscle over there, so I don't think I could take too many of these if I was. Well, you need that body like mine if you want to get hit down there. You can't be you can't be too skinny. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. Under a minute now to go in round one. Straight punch lands. <laughs> Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Bleeding from his cheek now. That was a hit. Nice strike. Just misses with the straight left hand. 15 seconds. Lands a jab. Oh, there's the double leg takedown. Now inside the close ball. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. In a very close round, a takedown like that might be the difference. Great work. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem like he's trying. He has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not working. If he takes many more of these shots, this fight is going to be stopped due to the swell. Ready. Ready. Go. All right, round two. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Flips the shot. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here and just continues to punish his opponent's body here in this round, just like he did in the previous one. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. He loaded up there on that high kick. Nice straight punch there. Oh, nice. Beautiful punch to the body. All right, so he lands again, just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with the attack. You know, why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted was there. He started to take advantage of it early, and now he's continuing to build on that. This kickboxer looks amazing tonight. Oh, here's a kick to the body. Blocked, though, by Caceres. Man, how good is his right hook counter? Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Collar tie here in the clinch. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Now landing to the body. 
Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. He's got to do something different. He's got to be very careful because look for his opponent to go over the top now that he set him up. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Caceres is in half goal. Big ground and pound. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Working out of the half guard here. Now he's on top, exactly where he wanted to go. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight time. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. He's getting the ball here. Well, that was a high-level extended battle on the ground. Now, though, the athletes back to their feet. And no surprise, the crowd responds in confidence. The crowd just loves whenever they get two high-level strikers going at it. It was very hard to get back up after getting taken down. But he's got there now. Let's see if he can take advantage of it. Big shot to the head. All right, so the swelling becoming a real factor right now. Did they inject something into his face, or is he just swollen from the strikes? Swollen from the strikes, man. Guy taking a couple shots. You never know which one is gonna start to make you get damaged. Something good landed, and now you see the swelling start. Oh, big right! Oh, big the body! 20 seconds to go round two. Nice side kick. Caceres' nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps they're on the bridge. Not resting in the clinch, being very active and landing a beautiful punch here from the clinch position. Round three next. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's gonna do much, and if it does, he can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's got to move his head, and he's got to be proactive instead of reactive in terms of his defenses. You ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximized those 60 seconds on the street. This is what happens when you get two very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it to the next one. All right, well, that blow is bossing from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other decision. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Well, he 
continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. All right, well, he's had his striking on point tonight, and as evidence, some swelling now on his opponent. Yeah, light swelling right now. But if he doesn't address it immediately, it'll turn to something much worse. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Trying to kick the leg out. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Head kick attempt, unable to find the target. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Just over two minutes to go. Left-right combo is good. Oh, pinpoint. He hurt him. Oh, he gets back up. The question is for how long? Great upper body movement defensively, slips another strike there, and offensively he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively he's been strong tonight. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent, not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head movement and the activity and the awareness of this fighter defensively. He does a great job getting out of that clinch position. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him, he hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now, he's tasked with trying to find that shot again. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Under a minute to go. Caceres' cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. You wonder if that's impacting his breathing by now. Nice shot there by the champ. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Caceres going for the takedown here. Nothing doing there. Nice kick to the body. Man, the body work continues to be a factor here. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, we're gonna stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. All right, DC, we got a few clips of the damage done in that round. Can see where things really started to escalate. Yeah, really open up that cut, John. The blows are just devastating. He's gotta get out of the way more. I mean, if this guy won't do it himself, somebody's gotta help him. Yeah. Because you cannot keep taking these types of shots. You ready to fight? You ready? Go All on. right, here is round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. Fifteen minutes now, take a go. You tell yourself you can do anything for ten minutes. Caceres is really bleeding heavily now. That cut is only getting worse by the minute. Well, confident 
confidence is high, I repeat, confidence is high. And I gotta think when you knock a fighter down in the previous round, that's gonna think you can do it again. I mean, confidence is key in anything you do in regards to fighting. So, for him to secure that knockout early, he has to feel good going forward. Well, you know, Rogue is pissed he missed this one. We are witnessing an instant classic. Back and forth we go. Both fighters have been on the cusp of being finished, and both have exuded a ton of heart. Yeah, they both show heart, courage, ability, technical skills. I can't really tell you how these two are still in the fight with the damage that they both are exhibiting on their face. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Ooh, big shot lands. Very fast jab lands for him. Caceres is blocking pretty well now, so an adjustment made by the fighter to protect that already significantly damaged nose. Just over three minutes to go now. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, nice jab. does not look good. Actually, it looks really bad. You gotta think the ringside position is gonna get called in here in a moment. Oh, beautiful job to get the kick home to the body. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt. Not a great entry there. Oh, you got it. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching forward, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. We gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Oh, he lands that deep. You catch a body kick, but you gotta step off the side. You just can't take it. Oh! oh, you gotta start to look to finish him now. Oh, another one. Well, the crowd continues to react with every passing land, but if you're the referee or even the corner, somebody. All right, well, the ref's gonna step in here. He has done a job on his nose. You see what I did there? Nose shot. <laughs> But, John, it's a bloody nose. We've all had bloody noses. We got bloody noses in our first fight at seven years old. So I'm, I'm pretty sure they'll let him keep fighting. Doctor talking to the referee right now. And All right, it looks as though the fight's going to continue. Fans will appreciate that decision, at least for now. They will. It's been a fun fight for this point. Fight. Let's see Ready. how he deals with this bad cut. All right, so some pretty significant adversity here, but the fight is going to continue. The doctor has left, and the ref gets us back underway. Gets us right back underway, and it doesn't seem like there was too much thought into it. It looked like they were going to let him fight, and that's exactly what they did, and I could not be happy. Back to the feet now. Volume of strikes. Oh! oh, big diamond punch to the head. But now he's going full mount. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh man, another strike gets through, and now things are critical. We got a lot of blood, folks. Strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Caceres. Final seconds here. Uh, and there's the buzzer uh, indicating the end of round four. Uh, 
All right, mercifully, that is it for the round, and Caceres' nose does not look like it did at the beginning of this fight. Perhaps it is broken. It is certainly pouring blood, and you gotta think the referee's gonna call on the ringside physician to come in and take a look. All right, so as the cut man gets to work, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round. Well, he's got some work to do. The cut man's gonna have to work a miracle because this guy was on the receiving end of some real damaging shots. And if he doesn't do something different defensively, it's going to get worse. And if it gets worse, the fight may be stopped. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, fifth and final round. He lands a solid punch there. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Quick jab. <laughs> oh, and that kick is blocked. Nice straight left hand. Well, he is really seeing things well offensively here tonight, and he's caused a lot of swelling there on his opponent. You gotta address this now, because it's only going to get worse. Your opponent is not gonna let you, let you off the hook. You've gotta move, you gotta change something to try to deter him from going to that spot. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Caceres is able to land the strike right there and continuing to make things difficult for the opposition. The nose is already damaged, and that strike ain't gonna help matters. Tremendous toughness as he eats yet another body shot. This feels pretty critical at this point in time. I wonder if the corners think about getting involved. Somebody needs to. Somebody needs to get in there and stop this fight. This fight is over. Your fighter has been beaten. He's not going to win. Now it's about long-term damage. How do you avoid and allow for this guy to continue forward after this fight? If you're going to go out, go out on your shield. If you're going out, go out on your shield. Don't just walk backwards. Go forward. Make him fight you. Caceres is an absolute mess right now. This fight might actually get stopped by the ringside position due to that cut. Good block. Looked like Caceres might have just missed with that right hand. Fourth we go. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, Superman punch! Under two minutes now to decide this one. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar tie. Rips the body there for good measure. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Right, stay in there, buddy. Make the moves. Use your footwork, and let's get focused. Doing work with the jab there. Keep moving. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Caceres. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. Caceres gets caught by that straight punch, beautifully landed by the opposition. Good body shot. Whoa! Gets back to his feet. Beautiful straight punch there by Caceres, man. Thank <laughs> you. 
great shot blocked by the opponent. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Gets up. The question is for how long? For him, but for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight.